spent 12 years in the NFL, and part of that time with the Cowboys, Andrews and Dayhill so joins us on 365 Sports at the Super Bowl. 12 years in the NFL. Do you have any aches and pains from that time, even to yes, this day? Yes, absolutely. Like just bumps, bruises, arthritis? I had about eight surgeries throughout wow. my 12 years in the uh, NFL couple of concussions obviously um so there's definitely still some aches and pains takes a little bit longer to get going i like to start my day with a nice just like hot bath or a hot shower just to warm up just so i can get moving that's the way you usually people end the day with a nice bubble sometimes bath. sometimes i do that too <laughs> i do two days on the bath time you know? <laughs> that's why that's why i'm gonna need some of these candles oh you yeah, got it. Exactly. my buddy eric horton and tyler candle company one of our great sponsors so um 12 years in the nfl and what you have is affect brain tree nutrition. Let's let's discuss that. What? How did all this kind of come about? Yeah. So uh, me and two of my uh, college teammates that went to Rice with me. Uh, one of them also played in the NFL. We just wanted to make uh, a line of products to help preserve and enhance and protect the brain. And we wanted to make something that was safe and transparent so that we could take it while we were playing with you know, no banned substances and also so our teammates could take it. Because right now there's not a ton of, well, when I played, I don't, I don't know now, but there wasn't a lot of good rehab protocols coming back from concussions um, or to help guys that had an ADD or an ADHD. And so um, our flagship product, it helps with memory, Focus and it has uh, anti-inflammatory properties for the brain. And so um, all those things can help coming back from concussions. It can help guys like myself who uh, I was diagnosed by one of the team doctors with a you know deficit disorder. And per the NFL rules, they're really strict on prescribing those types of medications, right? So I wanted to make something that was had, uh, you know, natural occurring ingredients that were um, clinically backed by studies and uh so yeah, we in consultation with neurologists, we formulated this line of four products. We also have the probiotic. We have our stress and anxiety relief, which is awesome at the end of the day, uh, with the candle, with the bath at the end of the day, and then our sleep aid because sleep is the foundation of, of health and mental health and brain health. There's no one, and Paul knows this, and I'm not joking. That, so Adderall would be one of those ADHD or whatever, and. I'm a little bit hyper already, but is that something you couldn't take as an NFL player? Right, because it I'm would show attention up. deficit right. 101. Yeah, and I was, I mean, it, it's crazy because I actually had three different doc doctors uh, diagnose me with that, right? But then per the NFL, they said, well, you don't have a long enough history of it, so we can't just give it to you because then we look bad, like we're just handing out Adderall to players, and it shows up as a performance enhancing drug. Et cetera, et cetera. So I was like, all right, let's make something that can help with, you know, focus and memory. Because a lot of it, a lot of what we do is studying film, memorizing plays. You have to be able to have instant memory recall on the field. And um, so that's, yeah, that's basically how it got, it got formed. So you uh, have a history with Coach Gannon of the Eagles. You, you played with him uh, for what, four, four years you were with him. Yep. And that defense early in the year was there if they had one, kind of their Achilles heel. Like, they, they were giving up run. How did, even after adding some of the guys they added, they adjust and become this just fierce, like, you do not want to drop back and pass on them. Man, rushing four. Yeah, their pass rush is insane. And really, every NFL game is one up front. You'll, you'll hear every head coach in the NFL say that all the time. We got to win up front. We got to win up front. And when you have a pass rush like that, a front seven like that, it just makes everything better, right? The, you can stop the run so it doesn't open up the pass. They want to drop back and pass, now you're getting after the quarterback. Uh, getting the quarterback off rhythm, off key, you know, making bad throws, tips and overthrows, getting turnovers and takeaways. So I think that's uh, been a big asset for them, it's just that front. You played in the league 12 years after being undrafted. Being undrafted is, is one of the more, I would say, stressful things about trying to achieve your goal and do that. Um, when Did you ever, f like, stop feeling like you were the undrafted guy, like at a point in the league where you kind of felt confident, or were you always kind of had that chip on your shoulder and, and thought of things in that way? Yeah, I think you're always kind of wired that way. You know, even as a starter in the league, you, this league is – it's crazy. You see guys that get cut or traded or released all the time that uh, is, you know, shocking news on ESPN, right? So uh, never never took it for granted and just, like you said, always kind of had a chip on your shoulder, always grinding, always, always fighting for a roster spot like you weren't guaranteed one even when you were the starter. 
So when you see Brock Purdy, who's Mr. Irrelevant. Love it. you got to love that story. Love it. Anyone should love that story unless he was beating your favorite team. But that's, Correct. That's, that's, that's. Right, yeah. A guy like that you're obviously rooting for. And, you know, he was, what, he was the third string quarterback probably yeah. starting. He probably never even thought he would see the field this year. And then all of a sudden he's playing to, you know, have a chance to go to the Super Bowl. So, it was, you know, it was good to see that. Obviously, always rooting for a guy like that, a young guy, to get out there and, and play well. Your time with the Cowboys, and we had uh, earlier today Tony Casillas, who was a part of the first two Super Bowls under Jimmy. It's been 27 years for that franchise to be in a championship game, not a Super Bowl, but just be in that moment where they have a chance. What was missing when you were there? You know, my time there was was brief. Um, I got there in 2010. There was a transition with coaches, um, and then I made it through training camp. They tried to sign me to the practice squad after final cuts, and then I got claimed to the Jets. Okay. Uh, so it was. I was there for you know a little under a year. Um, so it's hard to say, but just keeping track. I kind of keep track via all my friends in Texas that are huge Cowboys fans. And they just always look very disappointed around this time of year. So, <laughs> well, look, part of the reason is they didn't keep Andrew long. No, enough. no, I mean, I mean, like, I, like, and I'm not gonna. I was. I wasn't gonna say that. Look, I don't, I, you know, I, it takes more than just one person. I, I, I will say it, especially when their strategy at your position was guys who were lower drafted, undrafted, like the guys that like Donovan Wilson wasn't like he's a low draft pick now, and it's worked out for them. But when you left and worked out everywhere else it was going like i remember you playing you playing against them when you were in minnesota and going uh could have like used, to, used that, to be there could could have been you guys you know <laughs> I, that happens a lot around the yeah. league there's guys that they get released or cut or whatever from their first team and they're young and then they finally find a place that fits their scheme yeah you know the coaches like them trust them and they end up making a good career out of it and that happens all the time and so that's why you always love to see a guy do that, right? Like J. Ron Curse, he was my yeah. so he was my backup in Minnesota. That guy should have been on the field, like way ahead of me, right? Mm-hmm. As far as athleticism, just size, speed, um, but just you know he was young. I was already starting, and just the timing, and then he finally get you know makes his way to Dallas, and now he's you know he's got himself a nice spot there. Well, yeah. Rice University, obviously, uh, back in the day, part of the Southwest Conference. That's forever ago. We know that. College football's changed, man. I mean, you have NIL, you have the transfer portal. It's just like a wide open, like the wild, wild west I don't in some get it. ways. I don't get it. I'll never get it. But it's basically just college free agency every year. There you go. There's no, uh, every there's no, month almost. Yeah, there's no commitment. Um, you know, I think it's, it's funny how it also aligns with, I feel like, the way that the world is now. Just everyone's kind of soft, and they don't want to – it's like, oh, you don't like me? Okay, well, I'll just go somewhere else instead of just, like, grinding it out and figuring it out and working your way into a starting spot. Um, so, I, I don't I, know. I it, think I think that – uh, the younger generation thinks that when coaches are hard on them, it's because they don't like them. It's usually the opposite. It's usually they do like you. They they're see trying, the potential. They're yeah. trying to like. Yeah. If my they're coach tr- stopped getting on me, that's when he told me I should worry. Right. Yeah. That's when if he like he, he otherwise he, you're, you're not you're you're dead to him or not. Yeah. yeah. And oh my God, I said dead to him. On oh the, no. Yeah. Oh. Canceled. Yeah. Oh Canceled. My, I'm gone. <laughs> just hey, <laughs> just oh, wrap last, it up. Wrap it up. It. Just wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. But but it is it is like everyone's offended about everything, and I'm not going to get into all that. But it is I can, like I can if you want. Well, go ahead. <laughs> I don't work here. No. Go. I, well, we we've discussed it. Believe yeah. me. But look, we're losing our edge, man. We're losing our edge. It's getting softer around here. So. Um, I don't. I don't like the way things are going. You know, just in general, every, I feel like everyone's sensitive, and uh, you know, it's uh, yeah. Well, I we'll love this that. product, well, Brain Tree well, Nutrition. Hey, b- before we get to that again, yeah. we can't let him go without. We need. He knows our buddy Taylor McCarg. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Y'all, we, uh, he's y'all's friend. Yeah, we we have. Well, I, I, I wouldn't claim. I, I wouldn't claim him a, as my he friend. He was a weekly, but, a weekly guest segment. Yeah. I, oh. be, yeah. God, I bet y'all's ratings were just in the shitter at that point. <laughs> <laughs> and you can say that on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, great. Great. Yeah. You're great. How do people find your product, man? Uh, so you can go to BraintreeNutrition.com. Uh, you can find us on any socials. Just search Braintree Nutrition. And then a lot of people will find us on Amazon. 
Uh, same thing, just search Braintree Nutrition. We donate a portion of our proceeds back to Alzheimer's Research. We're a Texas-based company, founded, operated right in uh, Texas by all Texas boys. Uh, so, yeah, go check us out. The highest rated segment from anyone ever associated with Rice University. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Ever in the history. Andrew, appreciate it, man. Thanks, guys. Good stuff. Yep. This is 365 Sports. We're live in Phoenix. Y'all listen up. Let me tell you something.